Hey fam, what's good? It's Katie and I'm so excited you are watching today's video. I'm very excited to do this video. I have not talked to y'all about college in a while and so here we are. We are in my podcast studio. It's nothing fancy right now. We have completed it. We've still got some board games and stuff in here. I don't know if those are going to stay or leave but got the LED lights up, all that jazz. Um, that's literally all the jazz in here. But I am so excited because today we are once again, like I said, talking about college. I have been a college student for a semester now, and it's been interesting, let me just tell you. Um, some, somewhat like high school, nothing like high school, and just all the in-between. So let's jump into today's Q&A. All of y'all are doing well and with that our first question is going to be where do I go to college I go to the University of South Carolina Aiken so that's like if you look at a map Columbia is kind of in the middle it's like directly underneath it almost um, um but I like it it's a great campus it's a great school um it's been the college is nice itself um, it's small compared to some other colleges, but it's been really good and I've really been enjoying it. So next question, what is my major and why did I choose that major? So my major is emerging media, um, which is kind of a branch of communications. And I chose it because when I originally went into looking at it, I was like, oh, broadcasting news, that would be so cool. I've got YouTube and I've got my podcast, which shameless plug, if you don't listen to She's So Pretty, my girls, go do it. Um, but, and so I just wanted to be able to enhance all of that and make it better for y'all. But also I enjoyed like the news and the broadcasting and all of that, or I thought it was cool at least. And so I was looking at colleges and USCA um, had that major. And so I was like, okay, this is awesome. So emerging media is my major. Next question, why did I want to go to college? That's a good question, honestly. Um, I don't, I don't actually really know. Um, so I just, I wanted to, I guess, I wanted to go to college to be able to get better skills on these sort of things, to be able to get um, the better communication skills and the better, you know, videography and photography and broadcasting and all of those skills. Um, but I also partially did it because, like, that was just the plan. There wasn't a better, sturdier plan for me after high school. And so I just went into college, like, this is what most people do. This is what I'm going to do type thing, which I guess can lead us into our next question of dropping out of college. Am I dropping out of college? I've thought about it. Um, <laughs> but no, I don't think I will. Um, the reasons I would drop out of college would be to be able to better focus on this uh, YouTube and podcasting and be able to focus better on just those things I do with my social media internship at church and travel and just all of that and so there so I don't think first of all I don't think it'd go over well with my parents and secondly I there's just like while that's all great and good I know this is probably in the end what's going to be best for me um and I don't have the means and the resources to just drop out and move on um and you know if this if the, all of the my grand plans don't work out I need something I can fall back on so no your girl's not dropping out that she has thought about it all right, well, we'll loosen up a little bit. That was kind of a serious question, but what's my favorite class I've taken so far? So, so far, I've only obviously taken the, my. it's my first semester, so I have five classes. Um, and I'm not saying, like, in your first semester, you can have as many classes as you want. I'm taking five classes. 
And so my favorite class right now, um, I'm actually really enjoying chemistry. I'm enjoying chemistry due to the fact though of my of my professor. I love my professor. She's great. Um, and just that class is overall really fun. And, but like my favorite class due to the fact that there isn't a lot of work and it's just like we sing in the class all the time is history of rock and roll. And it actually is going, it's part of uh, one of, like it falls under something that I have to have for my major. So I think that's super cool. But yeah, that's actually been amazing. Um, history of rock and roll is so cool to learn about. My dad is big into rock and roll. And so I like, I didn't know much about it besides like the songs. And so it's been really cool to take a step back and like learn about the hit. I, I mean, learn about the history of rock and roll, but learn how it came to be about and all of the things that circled around it and made it rock and roll. It's just been so cool. Um, if you can take a class like that, I definitely tell you to. My class right has been pretty easy. I mean, I can't talk for everybody, but um, it's been easy. It's been fun. And the professor is also a, a great guy. He's really good at keeping it engaging and fun. Why did I decide to go to the University of South Carolina Aiken? Good question. Um, thank you for the question. Good question. So I was looking at the universe. So the schools I looked at, Lander University, Clemson University, North Greenville University, Charleston Southern University and the University of South Carolina Aiken. That's five schools. Um, Clemson, I didn't really look at because I realized that I was going to go not because I wanted to, but because my dad went and that's where my boyfriend's going. And I was like, that's not a good idea just because you don't need to be going to a college because of somebody else. You know, if they have a great degree program and they, it's what you want, go. You know, the people are going to be a nice, just keeping you there. Give me one second. I think I just heard my dog flip out. <laughs> Next question. Do I work during college? Yes. Yes, I do. I work at Chick-fil-A. I've been working there a year and a half-ish now. Um, it's been good. I've been working on and off, on and off. Actually, since the whole time I've been working. But on and off since I started. Um, it's been good. I guess the second lead-in question to this would be, would I suggest it? Um, it's really based on your your time you know if you realize that I love to study and I feel like I need or I feel like I need to study all the time every time then don't let yourself study you know let yourself get those good grades you go um but you know if you're like well I need that cash because this junk is expensive in college <laughs> and you have the free time to do so do it um whether you stay at home for college or you go somewhere for college there's always going to be jobs that need workers and so um especially if you're a college student I feel like especially if you live in a college type town like they're always wanting to hire people and so try it out if you can but yes I do work at Chick-fil-a right now it's like once or twice a week um just because I'm trying to still um get everything under my belt and situated but I yeah I work and it's pretty good pretty easy to do with college schedule so my last and final question if you're still here give me a thumbs up um but my last and final question is what is going to be my job after college gosh that is three and a half four years away don't even or sorry like two and a half, because I hope to graduate in three and a half years. I don't know if that'll happen. I guess we didn't really talk about that. I hope to graduate in three and a half years. Boom, done. Um, but that is a great question. I would love to do something like this full time. I would love to do She's So Pretty full time. Um, going into the news, journalism, broadcasting, anchoring, all of that would be cool. I don't know. I'm kind of open to anything. That's the great thing about my major is it's very open and it's not like very narrow street, but um, I don't have an idea and I feel like that's also okay. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't hear. I feel like like your parents tell you and the advisors tell you and stuff, but don't be afraid to not have, to not know 
your step-by-step from here until you graduate or until after you graduate. Um, don't, don't close yourself off if you're not sure. So I don't know. I have some ideas. Um, I have some things I would love to do. Videoing, broadcasting, podcasting, YouTubing, all of those things. But there is not a set. Like I feel like when people ask me like, what's, what, well, what are you going to do with that? You know, what's your job? I, I think they think like corporate or like, I'm going to go do this. Uh, like my boyfriend is thinking engineering. So what's he going to go do? Be an engineer in some kind of field. And I just, that's my major so open-ended. That's not like I, there's not a little, 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 sorry, I'm rambling. There's not a set work that I have to go do. Um, if I want to stick with the degree I get which I'm super excited about, but I am unsure about the job that I will have after I graduate. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed talking to y'all. I feel like we don't do a lot of sit down talk videos. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments below or subscribe, like, you know, one of those things. So I know that you interacted and that you were here. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, fam.